Did you know who first predicted the emergence of intelligent robots? It was dun -da -da -dun, Aristotle. In 350 BC, he wrote that one day slaves would be replaced by automatons. Many a great thinker have built on Aristotle's philosophy since then. Thus, some might say the development of our civilization in terms of automation was predetermined. So why does this scare us? Mainly because we've been watching movies and TV shows like Terminator and Black Mirror for a while now, and we constantly hear scientists and tech leaders proclaim that artificial intelligence is dangerous, and then we wonder why we imagine dangerous AI as a robot with a weapon in its hands. But progress cannot be stopped, and we have long been living in reality when robots work next to us in factories, warehouses, restaurants, and roads. All this doesn't scare us because these robots are nothing like humans, but 2024 will change all of that. Robots aren't going anywhere, and soon Figure One and Optimus and even possibly Atlas will be right next to humans in everyday life and will start performing tasks that were previously only reserved for humans. Interesting fact, Pepper Humanoid Robot boasts about 40 successful integrations in Germany. They're actively and successfully used in hospitals and nursing homes, and Canadian startup X1 recently showed off an entire army of EVE robots training to perform everyday tasks. So you could say that the quiet revolution of humanoid robots is actually already taking place. But whilst Pepper's functions are limited to fitness, emotional support, and entertainment, robots like EVE, Figure One, and Optimus are shooting for the stars. So how advanced is the Tesla bot as of today? What is Tesla doing in robotics and artificial intelligence that others are not? Where does Optimus outperform its competitors and what will the world be like with thousands of intelligent humanoid robots all around us? We're about to find out in this video. Firstly, mankind has always dreamed of robots and first examples already appeared in the Renaissance. For example, Leonardo da Vinci's Mechanical Knight. But we'll not dwell on it here as the evolution of humanoid robots can be found in our other video in the description below. Secondly, Elon Musk as well as heads of other giants such as Amazon, Walmart, BMW are sure that if we don't fill the shops and warehouses with robots, soon there'll be no one to work there at all. Staffing problems is already a sore spot for thousands of companies and this trend will only continue in the future. Industrial and warehouse bots have been working for a long time and currently clock in millions around the world. But the problem is that they don't cover all the needs of all the industries. Many operations are still only available to humans. That's why Musk says Tesla's future is not in the super stylish and competitive electric cars or even a post-apocalyptic Cybertruck, but specifically in humanoid robots with artificial intelligence. Imagine, you can buy a cool car or a robot that can do your work for you and your neighbor, i.e. generate income for you. What would you choose? Let us know in the comments. Although we're almost sure that many will choose the car, robot in this situation looks like quite an interesting investment, especially for Tesla itself, which can teach its robot how to assemble other robots. Plus the company, as many experts believe, at least in the beginning, will not sell the droids as the price of Optimus will be much higher than the announced $20,000. Instead, Elon Musk may well decide to rent or lease the robots, but the main thing is to use them in his factories. True, Musk's unpredictability may damage the joyful prospect. For example, Elon recently said that he's not comfortable developing robotics and artificial intelligence within Tesla until he owns a 25% stake. Quote, enough to have influence, but not so much that I cannot be overthrown. End quote. That's what the entrepreneur wrote on his X network. Musk now has about 13% of the stock, and before buying X, he had about 22%. That is, Elon sold some shares to buy X, and now he wants them and even more back, threatening otherwise to develop robot and AI projects in another company. Given that Tesla's stock has rallied nicely in recent years on news of the robot, its loss will be quite painful for shareholders. 
especially now that interest in artificial intelligence is growing exponentially. And in fact, Tesla could become the world's leading AI company, according to some experts. This opinion is based on the fact that Tesla has everything in place to train neural networks, a source of huge data sets in the form of sensors and cameras on their cars, and the internal infrastructure to process them, including the Tesla Dojo supercomputer. Quote, I see a path to building an artificial intelligence and robotics giant with truly enormous capabilities and power, end quote. That's what Musk said in January this year, also noting that the company has a good chance of shipping some number of Optimus robots units to customers as early as next year. And that's really exciting. The robot is indeed progressing at a rapid pace, and the other day it was revealed that Tesla has 61 additional job openings for its development. Among other vacancies, the company is looking for systems and process engineers, mechatronics, actuator manufacturing and data acquisition operators, as well as Python and reinforcement learning specialists. Apparently, Elon is not completely satisfied with the robot's design, but it's in the area of artificial intelligence that major progress is still needed. The brains for the robot are being developed by the same team that creates the software for unmanned driving in Tesla cars. That said, Optimus can operate autonomously, although the current version of its autopilot for vehicles requires active control from the driver. This is understandable as Optimus has not yet left the lab while Teslas are everywhere. That said, it looks like Optimus can interact with humans. At least in one of the videos, we see a human trying to confuse the robot by shifting the blocks at sorting. So what about the robot's capabilities? To perform its tasks, Optimus uses video encoders and joint position encoders which help it understand where its limbs occupy space. All information from sensors is fully processed on board the robot in its central computer located in its chest. Interestingly, the robot gets information about the world around it just like Tesla cars, only from cameras. No radar or LiDAR. It also has a visual navigation system controlled by fully trained end-to-end -end neural network. And some sources say it's also loaded with a library of benchmarks of natural human movement optimized and adapted for Optimus. But it's not infinite, and to learn to act like humans, it's not quite there just yet. Tesla is developing neural networks for autopilot by capturing and analyzing images from the cameras of its vehicles. It collects information from millions of cars in real time to share data for object detection and depth estimation. The company's cars are literally watching how people drive, how they behave on the road in different situations. The neural network processes this information and learns to drive the same way. Could the company use the same approach for robots? Well, theoretically, yes. For example, Figger recently showed how it used a demonstration to train its humanoid robot to refill a coffee machine with capsules. Moreover, Google has a very interesting project that aims to collect as much data as possible on how to perform certain actions and how to generalize them and apply them to a wide variety of robots, that is, robots with different designs. The project, by the way, is massive. Google is doing it its own style. For the great goal of making robots smarter, 25 labs total have come together. But back to Tesla. The company has a lot of robots in its factories, and Optimus is supposed to start working in those same factories too. But can data from industrial assembly robots teach a humanoid anything? Well, it's hard to imagine right now, and even if some of the data turns out to be applicable, where to get the rest to teach the robot everything else? The answer to these questions is probably what the company is looking for right now. In 2023, Elon Musk said, quote, We're going to continue to invest heavily in developing artificial intelligence because it's really a massive game changer. And I mean success in that regard in the long term. I think it has the potential to make Tesla the most valuable company in the world today. If you have fully autonomous cars on a large scale and fully autonomous humanoid robots that are really useful, it's not clear what your limit is." End quote. As for Optimus' physical capabilities, the robot can now walk like a severely fatigued human and perform an unknown number of operations with its hands. More recently, the robot's fingers have developed sensitive sensors that help it determine how much force will be enough to pick up and hold an object, including fragile things like eggs. That said, Tesla Bot's arms are strong enough to hold tools such as screwdrivers and metal parts weighing up to 44 pounds or 20 kilos. 
The design and functionality of the robot arms is roughly comparable to humanoid competitors. The advantages of Tesla robots include a compact and powerful battery with a capacity of 2.3 kilowatt hours, which should be enough for about a full day's work. Interestingly, in the future, Optimus should learn something extraordinary, namely to squat and lift. That's something we've never seen in any humanoid robot before. We're not saying Optimus is like Sam Sulek, but the only bot that currently squats is Digit and it has a completely different leg design. Will Tesla engineers be able to apply this functionality in Optimus? What do you think? Leave your comments below. Meanwhile, describing the competitive landscape, Musk claimed, quote, I don't think anyone can do it better than Tesla. Boston Dynamics is impressive, but their robot lacks a brain or something, end quote. Incidentally, it's Boston Dynamics Atlas robot that is often compared to Optimus, although this comparison is not quite correct. Sure, Atlas can do somersaults and parkour, but that doesn't carry any value to a potential buyer, unless, of course, he's going to use the robot in a circus or as a cat burglar. And yes, its mobility isn't as impressive, but it will be able to perform a number of operations on its own that Atlas wouldn't even have the capability to dream of. And what if we're not comparing Optimus to Atlas? Well, we don't know much about the EVE robot. The company claimed years ago that its robots could perform human tasks, but for some reason, we still haven't heard anything about integrating these robots into real-world enterprises. And yes, OpenAI recently invested in the company. The funds were supposed to be used to develop legs for the robot, but in the latest video, the robot still riding on wheels. And nothing groundbreaking since has been reported about the robot's AI. Optimus' most famous competitor, though, is the Figure Robot. The company's development is progressing at an impressive rate. But what do we really know about the robot? Yes, it learned a simple action from demonstration. And earlier, Brad Adock, the startup's founder, blurted out that the company uses different approaches to learning, among them demonstrations and teleoperation. Teleoperation with feedback is also used by startup Sanctuary AI, which aims to create a universal humanoid robot. But here again, it comes down to the simple fact that it's impossible to show it every useful action in the world. Tesla is also apparently taking different approaches. In the company's videos, we've already seen how the robot follows the movements of a human wearing sensors and how operators use teleoperation to have the robot fold t-shirts. And the robot was obviously not assisted in sorting the blocks. In any case, it's too early to draw conclusions about which team of humanoid robot developers is clearly in the lead. But Tesla definitely has every chance to be first or best, or perhaps both. Interestingly, Musk, confident of his success, is already taking care of the robots revolting. Tesla is reportedly working on building in security measures to ensure that artificial intelligence doesn't take over humanity. Specifically, Elon said, quote, Now, obviously, we need to make sure that there's a good place for humans in the future. We're going to put a lot of effort into localized control of the humanoid robot. So essentially, anyone will be able to turn it off locally, and you won't be able to change that even if you install, for example, a software update, end quote. In other words, the Tesla bot will obey when ordered to stop any activity. The end result, Musk claims, is a fundamental transformation of civilization that will help achieve a future of abundance, a world without poverty where you can have anything you want in terms of products and services. An Optimus or other intelligent humanoid robots will be at the center of that future. Many experts roughly agree with this point of view, though with a tiny caveat in mind that this is just one possibility. Universal robot technology will have implications for humanity that are too great to be accurately predicted. If anybody really knew, what do you think they would bet on? Post your comments below, like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel to keep your eyes peeled for more news from the world of high tech.